So, alrighty guys, and we are back, and we're about to head straight into the next portion of free time. We only have three free time left. Uh, we immediately need to pretty much just start hanging out with everybody. I don't, I don't think I'm going to explore. Exploring at this point would be pointless. Yeah, exploring would be pointless, because like I said before, we only want to go ahead and do exploration only when there's unique accessories available. And we don't really need to do any part-time jobs right now, so we're just going to hang out with some people. Last time we pretty much hung out with Popo, we tuned Popo, and we will remember next time that not every tuning will be as easy as the first one, or the second one I guess you can say, because I guess that was more of a tutorial, so that's why the first t uh, official tuning was kind of easy. But now that we know how tuning is going to work for the future, we'll be p better prepared, we'll have better equipment, we'll have just overall knowledge of how to proceed. Anyway, can I even, should I even hang out with a set? I have a feeling I shouldn't hang out with a set because we didn't see those chains yet. Well, I guess we'll hang out with a set right now. You talk to Lisette. What should we talk about today? You had a friendly chat with Lisette. That was that? You sense a bond former with Liz. There we go, the chains are there. Whoa, that was quick. What the? What's wrong? Nothing. A chain? Lisette, what are you hiding from me? It appears you are no longer able to speak with Lisette. So now we go to the tuning hall. Oh my god, dude, we gotta do another tuning. We have to do another tuning, fam. <laughs> you know, let's actually hang out with Klaus. This has been a long time since we hang out, hung out with Klaus. I guess we'll save the next free time for Lisette. You talk to Klaus. This place, I have prayed here continually since this conflict began. This reception hall is dedicated to the hero Elcrest. That's the hero that saved the world. But what does salvation mean for the citizens? Countless people have prayed here since the original incident a thousand years ago. Well, today we should pray for the success of the Anthem program. Of course. It's a quite surreal to pray while kneeling beside the conductor himself. <laughs> you had a friendly chat with Klaus. Alrighty. Hmm, I wonder if that actually would have spoiled it if I did that earlier. Because he would have been talking about conductors and Elcrest, and then, like, what if I hung out with him, like, so many times that it would have just spoiled, like, a plot line? That, I think they would have probably prevented you from hanging out with him. But then again, the only way you would actually be able to do it is if you beat the game in the first place, so... They kind of probably already... They was probably like, you know what, this dude viewed so much to this point already, he probably already unlocked New Game Plus, so this guy already knows what's going on. Alright, whatever. So, we're gonna go to the tuning hall. We're gonna go tune a witch. Welcome to my hall. Hello. Tune a witch. There are no girls that require tuning. Bruh. What you mean? Bruh. <laughs> Yo, you, you need to tell me. Yo. No, Medea, Medea. You got red panties, huh? Is she even wearing panties? Oh my god, I don't think she is. God, I don't think she's wearing any undergarments. I mean, I mean, here we go. <laughs> Alrighty, enough fooling around. Come again. Enough joshing. What we should do, I guess we'll hang out with Archibald. We haven't hung out with him in a while, so I guess we'll hang out with him now. Our next bonus is movement up. That would actually greatly benefit him in battle. You talk to Archibald. Hmm, yes. Also, the farm we tilled a while ago has yielded some splendid radishes. Wow. Take one in each hand. Like this? Now let us go. Follow my lead. Why is this guy so serious? Raise your right 
raise your left, turn, turn again, turn once more, and another one. Like, okay. That was a circle, my dude. What are you doing? I am displaying my gratitude to the land for giving us such a wonderful rat. Wow. Really, bruh? Really, bruh? <laughs> Whatever. Three more hangouts with Archibald and we'll be done with his social link. I mean, with hanging out with him. Hey, Alto! What's up, Rusty? Oh, Lizette and Popo, too. Apparently, the commander and Mr. Archibald are heading over to Amatsu with the guards. Sounds like they're getting pretty serious. I would be surprised if Ewan was with them. We should go to Amatsu, too. I mean, dude's making all kinds of money. Making all kinds of financial gain. But are we on standby until the festival ends? Come on, Alto, it's a festival. Let's go. I agree. Do you want to? Do you want us to leave you behind? I mean, that'd be cool. I mean, I can use my, use this time to you know do my YouTube. I'd rather sleep than go to some festival. I know how you feel, Alto. Don't give me that. Just hurry up. Get ready. And let's go. You're probably you just want to go because you want to flirt with the girls. <laughs> Naturally, that's what festivals are for, bro. Mr. Rusty. Please don't be a bad influence to Popo, okay? <laughs> uh, of course I won't. <laughs> anyway, it's time to Amatsu. Rusty. One of these days, Rusty, you don't get caught up. For your family's well-being and prosperity, I'll toss in a good luck fortune, free of charge. Obtain divine favor through an Amatsu Shrine Exorcism Talisman. Get yours today! Come for a true Goro specialty. The Amatsu Katana can cut through anything from tofu to boulders. What the hell? You can't get one at this price anywhere. I mean, dude, give me one of those katana cutting boulders, fam. <laughs> or, excuse me, a boulder cutting katana. <laughs> They're cutting through a boulder with that sword. Hey, now, nah, don't let them trick you that easily. That boulder was split in half ages ago. I'm sure they glued it back together for sure. But they just cut a solid block of iron in half, too. What? Seriously? What kind of trick is that? There are food stands over there. I haven't heard of any of these. Sushi, tempura, karatampu, what? I wonder where they are. I guess they're considered the West. I guess they're more considered European. I guess their clothing is more European. But then once they come to Amatsu, it's more like Eastern, like Japan and all that. But they all have such long lines. It seems like the city is a lot livelier than the last. The climax of the festival is the Rite of Calm Fire, which happens on the last day. People from all over Gore have gathered to try and get a glimpse of the priestess before the rite. You and what are you doing here? Can't you see, bro? I'm making all kinds of money. <laughs> Peddling, right? All your goods look pretty commonplace, though. This cup has Sakuya's face on it. And this tapestry has a picture of her on it. Did you make these yourself? Please don't worry, it's well within my right. <laughs> Bruh, you're an amazing merchant. So this is what you meant when you said you wouldn't miss a business opportunity. You truly are an amazing merchant. The praise is greatly appreciated. <laughs> the secret to business is determining the proper time and place. Couldn't miss this chance. Just watch me, I'll make a fortune in three days. Damn! Well, Sakuya is going to be joining the Royal Knights once the festival is over. Don't do anything too. Hey, you and give me one of those priestess towels, bruh. Thank you for your patronage. Dude, y'all working together, fam. <laughs> You've been sucked in into this too, Rusty? Well, you know, I need a souvenir for them trip. Dude! <laughs> Every last one of you. <laughs> Speaking of the priestess, have you gone to the meet and greet? Meet and greet? There's a meet and greet with the priestess? What? What is this? Is she a YouTube sensation? You mean that thing where we get to shake hands with S Sakuya? That's correct. During the festival, she holds a meet and greet where people can introduce themselves to her. A chance to hold Sakuya's tender little hand in my own? That's a mighty generous service she offers. However, you must meet the conditions to participate. Purchasing 10 charms. 10 charms? What are we supposed to do with them all? That's nothing if it means you get to make contact with that cutie. <laughs> Whatever the price. This is a perfect opportunity, don't you think, Alto? Why would I care? 
Rusty, I don't tell me you're thinking of participating. It's just another way to step up as a man. Let's get over to the Amatsu Shrine. Rusty is a trip, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's sit with the wet face. How could this be? Uh-oh. And I even purchased 100 charms for Her Excellency. Aha, uh -huh. you got duped. Ah, uh, no way around it. Quelling the fire is her role, after all. We just need to keep buying these charms to show her our support. <laughs> yeah, Lady Sakuya! <laughs> wow. Due to rehearsals, today's meet and greet is canceled. Well, that's a bummer, huh, Alta? Why would I care? Come on, we should be going. Whoa, man. You came all this way just to give up that easily? Of course. There's no point being here if it's canceled. You won't get the ladies with an attitude like that, you know? What? With my training, I can easily get past guards of this caliber. Bruh. Aren't those the commander's guards, though? Come on! I'm gonna leave you behind if you're just gonna stand there. Uh, hey! Rusty! We just trespassing like it ain't nobody's business. Nice find, Popo. We've wandered pretty deep into the shrine. I hope it's all right. Shh. I sense someone on the other side of the door. Damn, man. Everybody's got this power to sense. I wish I had the power to sense stuff. Hell, I'll go for a scouter right now. What? So they're going to wait until it's over? Are they dumb? But if you show yourself to everyone for a few minutes, <laughs> as if I care, it's not like I asked them to wait for me. Uh oh, she's showing art. She's tro she's showing her true colors. And when did you become so full of yourself to talk back to me? Oh boy. Ah, my apologies. That wasn't my intention. Man, I don't know who that is, but what a bitch. <laughs> Sounds like Sukuya to me. What a bitch. I was waiting for somebody to drop that do something B word. About those annoying guys up front. Huh? Damn that brawny gorilla getting all pumped up about this. I hate those passionate types. And the other pig. That act was charming ten years ago. Not anymore. Th that's not... This voice. This smell. They're so annoying. I can't be myself when they're monitoring me. Tell them to go away already. But then we won't have enough people watching over you. What? You're saying you can't do it? Tell me, who's your master again? <laughs> that would be you, Lady Sakuya. Bruh, 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 bruh. Right? Whoa, what does she gotta do? Disrupt the guards, so my lady can have some free time. Free time? If you know that much, get on with it already. Good gods, the only thing that's developed is your body. Damn! <laughs> You're forever useless, you... You walking pair of knockers! Wow! My apologies, my lady! Your servant Nonoka shall head out now! Me, me! Damn, savage. Is this Miss Sakuya's true nature? Hmm? I sense something. This presence. Have we been spotted? What do we do, Rusty? It seems we've witnessed something we shouldn't have. Hey, Rusty! We don't have time for this! Every rose has its something, huh? Gotta be careful with pretty ladies. <laughs> this was a good lesson, I'll tell you. Match it hold. Huh? What's with the rope? This too is a learning experience. Do something you can be proud of. Sorry, Alto. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, they left your boy. <laughs> hey, wait. Undo this rope. <laughs> they left your boy. I'll pray for your safety. Dude. 
No respect. Pervert, how dare you eavesdrop on a... <sighs> Hello. You're from the Regnant Knights. <laughs> they left your boy, dude. No respect for Alto. So, you're saying that someone captured and tied you up back there? Well, something like that? Hmm. Well, I don't really care about the how or why. The issue is what you've seen here. I am the priestess, after all. I'm trying to maintain a pure image. It'll be a problem if you snitch. Damn! <laughs> it's gonna be a problem if you snitch, so, uh, I'm gonna have to kill you. I wouldn't do that. But isn't it the perfect news? It's a scandal on the innocent priestess. You may sound honest now, but I bet you'll spill the beans later. Come on. Why do you care about your image? Do I seem that unreliable? Let's say, why care about your image? Why do you care so much about your image? What? Obviously, being the priestess is a matter of popularity. No matter how much the parishioners say they're a fan, do one little thing that tarnishes your image and they lose interest. Then, why pretend to begin with? Let me tell you. No one's gonna notice a boring, average girl. You're right. You're right. It's a perfect balance between charisma and intimacy. This is how it's done. It's my job to act the part they want to see and receive offerings. So what you're saying is you made a YouTube channel and you, you're faking almost all your reactions. And you're faking your own personality. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Lesson learned, guys. Lesson learned. So all those gameplay reactions aren't really reactions and it's just forced. Huh. Damn. Damn. I gotta unsubscribe, Sukuya. No. <laughs> huh. Being the priestess sounds like a challenging job. What? Just who do you think you are, sympathizing like you know me? Don't you prefer your priestess to be pure and innocent rather than this? I rather prefer a priestess that's honest and genuine. Nah. The real you is pretty cute. I think the real you is pretty cute too. If anything, she's cuter. Mad Daddy, let's go. What? <laughs> Are you being serious? Are you dumb? Are you a masochist? I'm a Mad Daddy masochist. Let's go. I'm neither dumb nor a masochist. But I guess I have strange tastes. Are you calling me strange? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now that you've seen my darker side, you're gonna have to be my servant. I don't know about all that. I mean, if you give me some ramen and give me a paycheck, I'm all down for I have no intention whatsoever of obeying you. So, I see. Well, then I guess I have no intention of helping you guys either. Aww. I'll just decline joining the Anthem program and blame it on Ooh, you. Ooh, savage. <laughs> savage. <laughs> Savage! Alright, alright. I won't tell anyone, and I'll do as you say. Hmm. I hope you've learned your place. If I felt like it, I could socially destroy someone as bland Damn. as you. Damn! <laughs> Sakuya, calm down. Your Excellency, we're done setting up for the rehearsal. Thank you. I've completed the preparations on my end as well. What a quick transition. Shouldn't you be more careful with how you speak? Uh. <laughs> well, I guess we're good for now. Meet at Gora Volcano tomorrow. Gora, okay. Gora Volcano, huh? Got it. Oh, and come alone. I'll take you down if anyone else shows up. Really? Your Excellency, you're up. I am on my way. Uh, you look more divine than last year. This year will be another success. So, that's what you call a pro. <laughs> that's what you call a YouTube persona. Alto, I'm glad you're okay. Y'all left me behind? That's what that's what y'all do? Come on, fam. Y'all ain't see Lilo and Stitch? <laughs> Ohana, my dog. Ohana. Y'all y'all completely didn't even Y'all just left me, fam. <laughs> Thanks for leaving me as bait. <laughs> now, now, it was a good life experience, wasn't it? 
All thanks to you. I realized that there's no such thing as a perfect human being. That must mean what we saw was Sakuya's true self. A perfect priestess on the surface, but in the shadow, she insults everyone. She roasts everyone. I feel bad for Nonoka. Women are truly frightening. I've got the heebie-jeebies. Let's head back to the royal capital for today. Okay. Already, because I'm Popo. Mr. Popo. Kami. Oh, Kami. <laughs> Kami. Please don't die, Kami. <laughs> Shout outs to those who get that reference. Sakuya says she'd be waiting at the volcano. I don't want to deal with the consequences of not going. Alrighty, so I think what we're gonna do is actually take this time to prepare and see if there's any new items that what friends are telling you. We're gonna sell all our exchange items and what see would you like? if we can buy anything new. No, we cannot. Can we refine anything Certainly. new? Do, 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 do. Mm -mm. Well, actually, we can make another attack orb times two, which we should. Here you go. Boom. Here you go. We can also get a giant. No, nope, we cannot. Giant fragment. How do I get that? I feel like probably I could have got one already. Oh, that's fine. So we don't need to buy anything. I await your next from visit. his shop. Let's go to Bianca's Armory. Stock up on Welcome some more. Also. I don't what think we even like? use elixirs. Who did? Who didn't? Yeah, no one used an elixir. So I think we don't even really need to buy anything. But maybe better like? armor. I think better armor at this point would be very useful. Because everything else is like one slot freaking weapons. I, I would rather have two slots. Synthetic vest. Thanks! Yeah. Alright, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Who needs to buy stuff? Or who. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. I just need to check to see who has what and whatnot. Boom, 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 boom. Bronze plate. I really don't need to buy anything for him. Let's set. I think I need to get you. My phone is dying. You know, anything with two slots, I'm gonna keep. Owen has a. Ewan? Wait, didn't I unlock a rifle for him? Let's get him that synthetic vest. Popo. Let's get rid of your cloak for now. No, nope, she's actually pretty good. He has a fishing vest. Let's actually go to orbs for her. I know we can place her with a different orb, right? Venom orb, attack orb. Yeah, we already gave that to her. Aim orb. Greed. She has greed. And if you put her right next to your boy, she's getting more experience, which is good. Put her next to you and we're getting pretty decent experience. What would you like? I guess that's what we should do. Alright, so I think everybody's good for now. So what we're going to do, I'm going to save the game, take a break, and uh, once I come back, we'll be back to proceed with, I guess, the next mission of Stellar Globes. I'll see you guys soon.